what's up you guys gaming addict so you know I've been hearing a lot about this destiny act with the entire you know the expansion being forty dollars this entire the guardian edition comes with special stuff that you can only get with the guardian edition so if you want that special stuff you have to buy the game and you have to buy the expansions that you are that some of us that's had the game for a while already has in my perspective on this, as you can see, I'm a regular Destiny player, is the things they're giving to these, uh, to the people who are just coming into the game that's getting all three of the expansions at once for one price, and they're getting a little bit extra stuff, they're not really game-changing items. <clears throat> I know a lot of people collect stuff, and you know, it's like an OCD to certain people, especially like people who just want everything they can get their hands on. You know, there's a lot of hardcore Destiny players out there, so that would make sense that people would get a little bit offended by this. But, you know, what you got to understand is you, they're just trying to bring more players to their player base. There's a lot of people who got rid of Destiny when it launched. So they're just, you know, they're trying to get new customers into their game. They're trying to get those old ones that got rid of their game. But, you know, is it right? Not really. The, con the whole concept, I understand why people are pissed. They, they're pissed because... They're dedicated a good amount of time into this game, and they're going to give stuff that you can only get through this through this Guardian Edition, whatever it's called, and the only way to get that is to buy the expansion that you already own. But it's like I said, it's a business call. So they have to make these kind of calls. It's like this whole thing with Red Bull going on. I can't really go into big detail with the Red Bull thing for my understanding is Red Bull and my uh, Red Bull and Bungie are doing a kind of a deal so what happens is when you buy a Red Bull there'll be a code on it I think I don't know if there's a code on every bottle because I don't I don't really drink Red Bull so you put the code in and it gives you like double XP stuff stuff like that I mean the double XP is really nice I don't know if you guys have ever played Destiny but being able to level those guns up pretty quick with double XP, that's really nice. Then they give you exclusive missions only to Red Bull. I understand where a lot of people are coming from because, you know, there's some people like myself that doesn't drink Red Bull that don't want to have to go out and buy Red Bull for this. But, it's just, like I said, it's another business call, you guys. They have to, you know, Red Bull probably came to them. It's like, you know, a lot of people like your product, a lot of people like our product. So let's put your product on our product so more people would buy our product to get more of your product is it make it right no but you know you guys are looking from a consumer mindset and you really have to try to have that third perspective and look from their mindset they've done as much as they can to broaden their install base well, so now they're just going trying different territories they've never been the person to microtransactions so if you guys get these red bulls i would suggest that you get them if you like destiny that way you can get the code how many red bulls does it going to take to buy to get the destiny missions the world may never know but you know it's like i said i don't see a particular problem with it even when there was rumored that they were getting exotic weapons because if you look in time, they've never gave us any time that you get exotics or anything like that. Any kind of weapons from any kind of game, the weapons use the garbage and you never really use it. And with a game like Destiny, that the whole entire point of the game is to get rare loot, items, weapons, armor, then I guarantee what you have now is better what they're going to give the people who are coming into the game for that Guardian Edition. I think it's like $79, but... What do you guys think of this whole Destiny thing? Do you think they're being too greedy? Do you think that they should just go ahead and give this DLC to everyone? I do hear that this Thursday they're going to talk about giving their loyal fans that's, that already has the game from year one. I don't know if it's going to be day one or year one. But this Thursday they're going to announce that. So what do you guys think? Go ahead and put it in the, the, the comments section. Tell me. Because, you know, I'm a big Destiny fan. I play it frequently. I'd like to know what you guys have to say. Well, thanks for watching my video. You find... I don't know. <laughs> See you guys.